Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSA student community and I'm answering a question from a student HT5FY from virginia.edu. Uh, that's a bit of a mouthful. I'm going to refer to this student as Virginia. Don't know if Virginia is a man or a woman, but a lot easier to say Virginia than uh, HT5FY. So there's a uh, geometry file that uh, Virginia has provided that has uh, a spring clip in the center and the connection, the frictional um, contact of these two parts connecting is the area of interest. And because of that, we don't really need to see or mesh all the rest of the parts. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create some planes to um, make room for doing this problem without having to uh, carry along all of the extra geometry. So here's the first plane and then I'm going to create a slice with that plane and I can now take this and suppress that part. The same applies over here, and I'll uh, take this plane here, create a new plane, and I'll offset that in the z direction by minus 0.1. Generate that, and then I'll create a slice and generate that, and take this and suppress that body. So now I can uh, fix one end and push on the other end. So we will take those two parts into, there's one other area that I found in this file, is there's an interference between the brown part and the green part here. And that interference can be resolved by doing a Boolean subtraction. So uh, if we go and create a Boolean, and we take uh, this body which interferes and we do a subtraction um, on this target using as that target using as the tool this body but we want to preserve the tool body when we generate what we now have is if I hide that part we have an undercut, which was previously uh, an interference. So now those two bodies can coexist without interference. And these are the bodies we're going to bring into um, the other program. What we'll also do, uh, we'll use a contact to join these two bodies together, a contact to join these two bodies together. So that'll all happen in the other program. So we can close Design Modeler. And uh, in, the, um, in this, we can hit Refresh. It'll pull that new geometry in. Then we can go about uh, making the, uh, and here there's the attach. And now we have a much smaller amount to um, mesh. We're going to look at the connections and three contacts were already automatically created. There's a um, contact between 12, 12 faces and I guess that's going to bond the inside of this to the outside of that. So we'll uh, take that. There's a contact and these are, this is the contact we want to actually make is the frictional contact so um, pushing those faces together uh, we will take that uh, we may do this analysis um, where it also drops into that portion and therefore we want to take a red and add a couple more with the control key held down um, add these two extra surfaces to the red selection. Um, that 
didn't go well. Um, and then these faces, seven faces, are defining a bonded connection between the brown and the green. So uh, the first piece is good. The second piece, we're going to uh, go to the contact side and what we might do is hide this part so that we can pick faces on this um, part. We, we might also get rid of this and this so that we can go and pick these faces, control clicking and uh, on the side as well. Apply. So there's six faces on this part and four faces on that. We might put a few more faces on that. Let's show all bodies and um, take these four faces and with the control key held down we can add a couple more faces. So this we do not want to be bonded, we want it to be frictional. And we can put a coefficient of friction on that. And it looks like we'll have um, a good result pushing that in. This is bonding the inside to the outside. And this is bonding um, the brown to the green parts. You can see over here if you click uh, sync views, you can uh, see it all move together. So we've got uh, bonded contacts and frictional contacts. So let's uh, continue. We'll um, go to static structural. And we will put on this end a fixed support. We'll put on this end under connections. We will under connections we will insert a joint. And the joint is a body to ground and it's a translational joint. And um, the face we want is that face. So we're going to push on that face. It's going to be free to go along the x direction. So this side has been fixed to ground, and this side has got a translational joint to ground. So we can um, then push that. If we drag and drop, there's a joint load. And the joint load can be a displacement. And we'll do initially a magnitude of uh, 0.1. And that may be better to be a minus 0.1. Look at the arrow. Minus 0.1 there. So now we have. Um, Probably enough to do a quick coarse mesh. There are material properties already assigned to these bodies. There is um, silicon, nickel, silicon, and nickel. We will need to turn on large deformation in the analysis settings. So turn that on. We will uh, probably be best off with direct, but might choose that on its own. 
and we definitely want auto time stepping and we might want uh, 100 steps to get started and um, go in increments no larger than 10 to travel that 0.1 millimeters in this direction. Um, with contacts, it's always good to go to the connections folder and insert the contact tool. So the contact tool will uh, generate uh, the initial contact status. <coughs> and we're looking to see that the contacts are closed. So this is a good state. If it's open, we need to do more work. But it's closed. I'm going to continue and that is to start the solution process. I um, I think we can just hit solve and it's starting to solve. We can look here at the solve process and we can also change the solve process to look at the force convergence. And for a nonlinear analysis, we're looking for these lines to cross, which they just did. So that's one hundredth of the motion that was requested has um, successfully converged. And uh, over the course of this simulation, the solver may choose to take larger time steps if it sees it's doing well converging. <clears throat> and at this point I'll stop the video until something interesting happens. So the uh, remainder of the video, uh, the next part of the story will be on the next video. Thanks.